Hello everyone, I've got a dog that will not stop barking. I just got in my house, uh, heard this dog uh, up above, actually it's an apartment, and um, he's just barking like a small little dog does, you know, the type of dog that will bite your leg and just hang on. You can shake it as much as you want, but the dog will hang on for dear life. It, yeah, it's one of those dogs, one of those fighter little doggies of sorts. This dog will not stop barking. I am going to get a headache. Actually, I do have a headache. Let me rephrase that. I've got an idea for a lot of people on the roads. Stop being stupid. Drive smart. What I mean by that is, uh, what a beautiful day today was. I had a typical day at work, just working, 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 and then I was like, oh, it's time. It's time to go home. Oh, how beautiful. I get to deal with everybody on the roads. It's a half an hour away. And I'm just... <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was a fake cry. Oh my god. Alright, anyway, but seriously though, there are a lot of stupid drivers on the road. I was almost home today. And I, uh, I met... Let, let's cue in the music here, the, the derp, derpity, derp, 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 okay? Just imagine that in the background as I describe this person here. Uh, we were at a blinking red light, and I, I mean, I know, people have had this problem before, especially if they're not used to the night lights, the glowing, you know, blinking reds and blinking yellows, uh, all that stuff. It's so freaking psychedelic, man, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so... He just stayed at that blinking red light and was just enjoying himself, maybe fell asleep, sipped a coffee, whatever, you know, was stuck there forever, and I was about to beat my horn because I am such an impatient driver. I'm trying to get home. I want to be home. Oh my god, please let me be home. So finally, he's like, oh, oh yeah, oh, oh, gotta go, all, all right, okay, okay. And then what he does, he proceeds to do this. Um, we were coming off a highway, and there's a turn lane right after that where you can get back on the highway. He went through the turn lane, just straight through it, onto the road. Now remember, this is a turn-only lane, I know. I'm making a big deal out of nothing. That's what you guys are, are going to say. You're going to be like, who cares? But, you know, it just compiles. There's a lot of stupid drivers on the road that are like that. A lot of selfish drivers. You know, one thing that really pets my peeve, if I can say it that way, is the drivers that do not use their turn signals. I mean, I know a lot of people don't use their turn signals. Maybe even some of you that are listening don't use your turn signals. I'm sorry, dude. Please, use your turn signal. Okay, I'm not meaning to insult you. I'm, I'm just telling you this to, to give you a little lesson, okay? Because when you're using a turn signal, you're letting someone know that you're going to move into another lane. You know, you're saying, I'm thinking of moving there. I'm giving you warning. You know, I mean, there's nothing worse than a jackass that cuts you off in traffic without a turn signal. And I've had that happen multiple times because I live right next to a city and I commute to a city every day. I'm not going to tell you the city because I just don't want to get that personal on a level. I do not even really appreciate where I live, so that's another part of it. I want to move back to where I lived, which I will tell you that I lived in Virginia Beach. That was a beautiful place. Very, very beautiful. I go to the beach all the time and I have good time. You know, I, I didn't look at the beach babes whenever I'm married, you know, so there was no looking at beach babes, but uh, it was definitely enjoyable just being next to that ocean and, you know, just being warm. Warm is a big thing where I live right now, you know, we're in the summer, yeah, 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 but during the winter to be in that Arctic cold and deal with all that snow and drive through all that snow with all the idiots on the road yes it is not fun not fun at all especially considering sometimes where you live they don't tow the parking lot completely and you kind of have to shovel your way out but anyway I'm, I'm getting off topic we're talking about stupid drivers the various scenarios in which 
you deal with stupid drivers and <sighs> what do I say just a lot of stupid selfish people that cut you off you know that think they own the road oh another perfect example you'll be going in the fast lane I know there's such thing as a speed limit and I know a lot of people like to try to break the sound barrier when they're driving so you'll be in the fast lane and you'll be going what you consider to be fast and then there'll be this guy that's just on your ass the whole time and he'll be like get out of the way get out of the way and you're like you know I wanted to merge into the middle lane anyway because that's just me I like driving in the middle lane but the problem is usually a lot of the people in the middle lane are driving slower than I do so I wait for it to uh, like all be clear there um, but anyway so uh, I will for the most part I'll move to the middle lane just so that idiot can pass me on the left uh, but sometimes I'm like, no, dude, I don't want to be stuck behind this really slow car in the middle lane. You know what? I'm going my own pace. You can deal with it. And then they'll get impatient and they'll do some weaving in and out of traffic like they're freaking owners of the road. Don't you like those people that just like weave real, real fast and furious need for speed? And then you see them pulled over down the road. True story. When I was in Virginia, uh, we were heading up to New York. And there was this guy in the smart car, and he was weaving in and out of traffic, but we weren't that much far behind just because of the way traffic was. And eventually he had completely gotten through all the traffic and way past us. No lie, we go down the road a little bit, and we see him pulled over by a cop. So, word to the wise, you know, trying to be a superhero, trying to be like in the movies, like how you drive. Well, maybe it's not the smartest thing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening. Tell me what you guys think about Drivers on the Road. Alright, have a great day. Peace.